Okay, so today we're going to do a demo with gouache paint. Um, gouache is a water-based paint. Um, it can be similar to watercolor, but it can also act more almost like an oil paint. It can be used um, as really thin and transparent, or it could be really opaque, um, and you can layer up the paints that way and have a very um, thick paint. Um, with this paint, you want to work usually more lighter to dark. However, you can, if you let the paint dry enough um, between layers, you can um, paint like a, a white or a yellow, um, really thick and opaque over a darker layer. Um, but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you um, just an example of something that I'm working on. I actually really like to work with gouache um, a little bit thinner. And I have my palette here. Um, I might go in and put in some new colors if I need them. But the other nice thing about gouache is that once it dries, you can get it wet and use it again, similar to watercolors. Um, whereas like if you're working with acrylic, once it dries, you cannot use it anymore because it's more of a plasticky consistency, you just can't work with it. So today I have this drawing that I've done. This is uh, Rose from Black Pink. Uh, so I'm just gonna do a little painting of her. I have my cup of water right here off the screen ready to go. And I also have a little cloth that I use just to dab my brush on, um, get any color off that I want. I also really like using a limited color palette. So using only a couple of colors. So I'm just mixing yellow and pink. And I think I will just kind of start not on her face because I don't want to regret anything. So you probably might not even be able to see what I'm painting because it's gonna be <laughs> really light, but I'll go in and try to separate some lights and darks. I am working with some colors that are maybe not typical because I went and um, bought some neon colored gouache because I thought that would be fun. So you can always go buy individual colors at the art store um, if you want something more specialty that's maybe not in a pack. So personally, I'm just gonna start by laying down blocks of color and then I'll go back in and do some detailing. So I have decided I'm going to stick to a primary color palette. So I have basically yellow and more of a pink and then a blue. Um, and with that, I can do lots of things. You know, I can create, um, I can mix yellow and blue and get a greenish color. Um, with the pink and blue, I can make a purple which I'll probably be using for shadows. Um, and then of course I can mix pink and yellow and get kind of an orange color. Um, 
I do, I am using kind of a water on water technique on her face to do blending. So I was creating pockets of water and then just putting a little bit of the color of the paint into them so that it's a really nice slight wash and blend of color instead of having really um, hard sections of color and paint. Um, okay, so I'm going to go in and do, um, I'm going to do some shadows um, before I do highlights right now. Um, depending on, you know, what you're working on, you might want to do the opposite, but because her outfit has a lot of ruffles, I'm going to do, um, kind of that. Well, maybe I'll do kind of the general block color and then I'll go in and I'll do the shadow. So I think, you know, you can buy different kinds of paints that might have different um, transparency or opacity. Um, the white that I typically typically get is tends to be pretty opaque. So that is something I think to keep in mind. Um, but definitely the paint will have a different consistency when it's straight out of the bottle. And then after it dries, it won't, it just won't be as wet. And even once you re-wet it, um, it won't be quite the same. So that could be something that ends up playing a factor into how it works. Um, you do also want to be careful with your white, you know, if you're mixing it with a bunch of other paint colors, then that's going to come through and it's not going to give you that pure white that you want depending on what you're working on. Maybe it doesn't matter as much. Okay, so I've laid down my larger blocks of color. Um, this is a very, you know, pretty fast drying paint. It's definitely not 100% dry, um, but there are some areas where it's pretty close. So um, I think I'm ready to move to a smaller brush and start going in and doing more of the detail work.